And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone and today we're going to talk a little bit about Intel for a change. Now we know that the Broadwell E just launched a couple days ago but now we're having information flowing in regarding their next enthusiast line. This time they appear to be dropping the Dash E moniker in favor of a Dash X moniker. So it won't be considered Skylake E, it'll be Skylake X. So along with this new information, we sort of have a launch window for the Skylake X and it's set to release in Q2 of 2017 and that's according to the roadmap posted here by Benchlife. Now as far as core design, we're anticipating the same core configuration with a 10 core, an 8 core, and a 6 core variant with the TDP adjusted to around 140 watts and able to bring in better IPC gains thanks to the new Scott Newer Skylake architecture. And as far as compatibility, we do know that it's going to be featuring an LGA 2011-3, but the chipset is labeled as Cabby Lake uh, PCH, so we'll have more information with that as it comes across our desk. Now, on to Cabby Lake S. The new Cabby Lake S looks to be getting new boards, such as the MSI Z270, shown off at Computex. Now it's still going to be using the LGA 1151 we can presume compatibility with the Z170 there's just going to be some feature changes that are going to be on the newer motherboard similar to what we saw with a Z97 versus Z87. Now with the Cabby Lake CPU we'll, we're expected to see similar TDPs along with pricing and core count and structure with the current Skylake CPUs. Now it looks like this time the mainstream processors will be coming first and that's in Q4 2016 while the enthusiasts looking for overclocking fun are going to have to wait until Q2 of 2017 which is a little odd that they're not bringing it out for quite a bit later. Um, and this is a bit disappointing for our enthusiasts in the audience who are looking forward to some fresh overclocking but as with always things like this everything's subject to change. Well guys, that's been all we have today and this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Feel free to subscribe and thank you and as always, we'll see you in the next one.